What's up YouTube, this is Nick here with LMD Studios. Today I wanted to talk about how to be productive as a digital artist by going over five tips to help you maximize your time and minimize your waste. So let's get to it. Tip number one is simple, plan out your project. The hardest part about being productive is actually getting started. Once you get started, you need to ask yourself, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? You have to have a clear plan in order to be productive. You have to have a clear goal of what you're going to accomplish. That is why it is super important for you to plan out your project. Brainstorm and create thumbnail sketches to give yourself a guide of what direction you want to go in. Something that would be considered as good practice is creating a list of steps that you can easily cross off once they're done. Remember, you don't have to follow this to a T. This will help you know exactly what you need to do step by step, and it will help you to remain focused. And that actually leads me to tip number two. Tip number two is to keep a distraction list in order to keep yourself focused. One of the biggest issues with being productive is the lack of focus. I, for one, am extremely guilty of this. My mind tends to run off in so many different directions, thinking about so many other different things, and it throws me so far off track that I have no idea where I'm at. One thing I like to do is keep a notepad right next to my keyboard so that anytime that I have a straight thought or anytime that something pops in my head, that really just takes my attention, I write it down because if it's worth jotting down, I can come back to it later. If it's not, I'll just shake it off. A good way to visualize this is by scratching that thought off the list. Even if you jot it down and it's not worth it being jotted down, the fact that you jotted it down and you can cross it off the list will help you visualizing and getting rid of that thought from your head. Tip number three is my favorite and that's taking breaks. Sometimes we get super focused on a project and we blow right through it. And that causes us to actually miss the bigger picture and sometimes miss major details. That is why it is super important to take a break because taking a break allows us to step away for a little bit, rest, and then come back with fresh eyes. Coming back to a project with fresh eyes can give us a whole new perspective that we originally didn't think of and in doing so will help us to catch any flaws that we may have missed. Taking breaks is essential. Your body needs it, your mind needs it. Step out, go grab a snack, go outside, get a breath of fresh air, play with your dogs, play with your cats, play with your kids, hug your wife, love your wife, do whatever it is that you need to do in order to take that break so that when you come back, you can come back fresh and new. Tip number four is cut off all distractions. Yeah, our phones are probably the biggest culprit. It's one of the biggest reasons of why we are so distracted. You know what I'm talking about, you know it's true. Sometimes the only thing that we need to be more productive is to put our phones in airplane mode. Come on, think about it. How many times did you say you were gonna take a five minute break, open up TikTok, and all of a sudden it's five hours later. When it comes to being productive, Social media is our biggest distraction. Remember that small distractions can really add up and they don't help you relax at all. So if you wanna stay focused and you wanna remain productive, put your phone away, hunker down, and get it done. Now for my last and final tip, tip number five, don't burn yourself out. In today's world, it's easy to get wrapped up in way too much that we can't handle, you know, bite off a little more than we can chew. And when we do this, we really do not have the shot of being productive. To deal with this, sometimes you need to do more than just take a break. Sometimes you need to shut down for the day. Save all your projects, turn off all your lights, close down, shut down your computer, take off, close up shop for the day, go home, take a rest. Then you can come back in the morning and see if it'll work. Other times, you actually have to scrap the project in its entirety. The point is to not take on more than you can handle. It could not only just affect the one project that you're working on, but it could affect all of your projects. It can affect your relationship with your family. It can affect your relationship with your coworkers. Overall, it will make you go insane. 
So there you have it folks, five effective tips for artists to become more productive. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so that you can get informed every time I put out a video like this. Also leave a comment down below and let me know any other ideas that you guys may have in order to be more productive as an artist. I would love to implement them in my workflow. Well, until next time, see you guys later.